So today's offering, nice coffee, we have a sausage roll and a cheese slice and we'll tell you what they're like and we are sat here, where are we? Now I know today we're in Sherwood Forest and we've come to see this fantastic oak tree, a really really old oak tree and to learn all about Robin of Sherwood. Gladiators, are you ready? Isn't that what they say? Yes. Artists, are you ready? I don't know how much of this I want to draw. You know what I'm like. Yeah. I've drawn the major trunks in. I don't know how much of, you know, how many branches I want to do. If you put it there, I'll have to put it in my painting. Is it going to be in your way? No, I could not go and do it. Sure? Because that is really nice there. It is in the way, but not so much that I can't work right, around. Okay. I'll well, just we have can to do a bit, a bit ducking and diving. And then if we need to, we can yeah. move it. No, no, it, yeah. it, it, it okay. won't be in the way. It's, it's fine. already tried to make it it's I'm gonna have to reduce the size you know it's it's such a scale of oh, no, something it's huge isn't it humongous humongous look at the size of some of those branches halfway up I oh, know wow it's working out what you're looking at isn't it really yeah. and and um look at these as well I might even add some of my foodie my new foodie Sounds like something you eat. You can use my old foodie to try the old one. Oh, that would be nice. Thank you. Yes, please. Because I'm well unimpressed with my foodie. Oh, I can feel those little things now. Yeah, I told you. There's <laughs> loads of them. <laughs> You're going to go home to all your head bitten to bits. Back home and have a shower, I think, wash them out. Mm. It's all very well, all this nature and wildlife nonsense. <laughs> they don't want us to be here, really. Do they? Uh, no. the nature is going, oh, food, dinner. Well, this is the problem, isn't it? Look, oh, yum, yum, yum. Have some of that. Look at that for me camera there. I did. <laughs> My fault. Now what can we say about this tree? What did we learn before we got here? Well this here tree 
is one of the 997 that live in Sherwood Forest, oak trees I'm talking about, and they reckon that the majority of them were here to see King Henry VIII's reign. So that's the 1500s, isn't mm. it? So this tree, I believe, they think is between 900 and 1100 years old. That's epic, isn't it? You've got to admit. Epic. You've drawn the major trunks in. From the major oak? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know where the bottom is. Let's put it that way. I've I done, I've done the, the base. Is, so, yeah. <laughs> Do you really? I'm very pleased to hear it. <laughs> I do hope our listeners and viewers know us well enough. <laughs> to be able to cope with it. Yes. They're probably all sitting at home thinking, oh, they're off again. Barely started and yes, they're at it. They are. Yes. yes. Now, would you object if I changed the weather? Yeah. What to? Something a bit better. The what? I, I'm not going to make it a bright blue sky, but I'd like yeah, a, a few rip, just... a rips in the, in the cloud. I can't see from all these clouds of bugs. <laughs> lordy, lordy. Now, normally I paint a background first, but mm. I'm going to paint the tree first and then see what room there is. Oh, OK. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. I'm lost. Are you? I have got no clue what bit I'm doing at the moment. Tree knows. It's going to be more complicado to draw, actually. You know me, I'm, I'm going to do the minimum drawing I can and then paint it in. Mm. I'm just going to put enough in to define mm. where specific things, things are. are. They have got some immense supports under it as well, holding yes. it up. Are you going to draw the supports in? Oh, absolutely, it's you part are. of it. Are you not? I don't know yet. I'm going to see how I go and make my mind up. Okay. Well, I think the supports are part of, to me, part of the major oak. And its story. Yes. Yeah. Because they have acro props, so they've got sort of ceiling props holding up some of the outer mm. branches. But also, in from the centre, they've got ropes tying things in to stop them splitting itself indeed, in half. Yeah. So it's, it's yes. supported in multiple ways. The wind direction, are you getting soaked? No, no, oh, I'm good. all right. No, no, it's fine. I can see it wafting in your direction. No, I'm all right. There's a little optimistic blue sky going in. It's very optimistic. Spider, little Sherwood spider. Oh, you know when you say don't put it on when it gets to a certain point of wetness. Yes. Well, I did, so I have to rewet. Oh, Denise, totally incapable of behaving yourself. Do as I say, not as, as I, I do. do. So we're putting blue skies in. We well, you know we're telling lies if we put blue skies in. I've not put totally blue sky no, in. Right. I've just put in as my grandmother used to say used to say it's a bit of a enough sky to make a torn hanky. <laughs> no idea really what that meant. Not a lot. 
Not a lot. What a lumpty, not bringing your brushes. Oh, do you know, there's always something though, isn't there? Well, it's... they are down in the side pocket of my painting bag from the Artist Emma Days weekend. Yeah. Which was fabulous. Yes, so for visitors who don't know what we're talking about, do you want to explain? Well, we had a painting holiday um, in Peterborough last... Well, it's last weekend as we're filming this, so it'll be November that we, we were there. Um, and it was just fabulous. We had 30 odd of our supporters. They had five workshops each from five different artists, and it was just fabulous fun. Great fun. Hard work, but great. I'm trying to put water in the water brush. Poured it all over my legs. <laughs> See your soggy leg. Got a damp knee now. <laughs> she's in the forest and she's damp. <laughs> I'm trying to put water in the water brush. Poured it all over my legs. <laughs> See your soggy leg. Got a damp knee now. <laughs> She's in the forest and she's down. <laughs> Funny enough, I think something I really, really need to bring out with me in future when I paint is a, these brushes are fab, yes. but I still like my hake brush. Yes. And so to swipe a really, you know, well, it's wet like I normally use my something. Yeah, my green brush is it. the same, isn't mm, it? I miss it. I need to address that issue for the future. We are continually adjusting what we do. And scratching. Yes, today we are definitely scratching. It's a very cootie day. The sky is full of little black thunderbugs. In, in America they call them no see -ums. Okay, yes. And that's certainly what we've got today. Little biting, horrible, nasty, yes, scratchies. Yes, but you can feel them. Yeah. Now I'm approaching this with caution. A caution, <laughs> indeed. Now I would say it's more reckless abandon than Not caution. Really. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting down a a loosely sort of browny grey for all of the trunks, and then I'm going to come back in and start putting my shadows and other things into that. Mm -hmm. Well there's one benefit about all these people around us, the bugs have got choices now. They have, it does seem to have calmed yes, down a little it? bit. They're gonna go and eat somebody else. Yeah then they'll wander off and they'll go oh yes, back there. Back again. <laughs> oh, I don't like that colour. Don't use it then. I won't be using that colour. What colour was it? I mixed up cobalt blue and raw sienna and I don't like that. Okay. No way. No way, Jose. It didn't tickle your fancy. No. <laughs> Probably full of bugs. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Bless him. Shut the leg up, somebody, will you? Yeah, get control of your beast. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm sitting in. Oh no, it's too bright green that is. <laughs> oh no, it's not spring. Is it? But it'd be quite nice to come back and do this quarterly. 
Yes, or do the tree in all the different seasons. Yes. Quite exciting. I don't often do a, a pen wash on top, but I think this might might deserve. Oh, it lends itself to it, do you not think? Yes, I do. I'm not going to do the acros and things, I don't think. Okay. I'm going to see what happens without. And if, if I feel... falls down, <laughs> your fault. And if I feel I'm lacking something, I can always go back in and have a panic. I'm likely to do that, but not necessarily over the acros. <laughs> I love this time of year to hear the robins singing, you know. and Yes. Because don't they pair up at this time of year? I think this is when they start to... Oh, okay. Is that what it? Next is that year, what they do? Generally, I think. Just done a little recording on the Merlin. It came up with the European um, robin. Oh right. It, it didn't quite come up with every noisy dog in the background. <laughs> I don't think that's programmed in. No. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> we get this every time we go out, don't we? The, the dog. Well, it's the dog, the dog. or it, it's the, somebody comes along and mows the lawn next to us, yes. or yeah, all of that happens. Oh, we haven't told everybody that in another part of the forest today they're cutting down trees and lopping boughs, and shredding. <laughs> and shredding. So and we, we heard that when we first got here and thought, oh no. But thankfully, it's no. not where we're sat. Not today. I can't say I'm really looking at my tree, are you? I'm more interested in doing my own thing. Really. Oh, I am looking at it, trying to get, at the moment, I'm trying to get sort of branches going backwards and forwards and in front Side and behind. And, and, yes. and they're huge, these branches. It does look rather like a growth on one side, but I guess it's what it, it is. It is what it is. Are they at you again? Hmm? So what colours have you been using then? How have you been handling it? Uh, I have been using that famous colour of my knock off the palette. Oh, that one. I yes. haven't actually mixed anything yet. It's just from what I had left on the palette. Yeah, yeah. However, yeah. It is, I've got raw umber um, on, and ultramarine, yeah. I've got some rose, um, I've got a purple that I found on the corner, um, and some grey that I found on the corner. Yeah. So those are the ones I've used so far, but they're sort of golds, browns, purples, greys. Mm -hmm. Well, I've, I've done that, I've got blue and pink in mine just because I want it to look interesting you know yeah and the, i have to say the blues granulated a real treat you're, you're chuffed with that today aren't yeah, you yeah really yeah because it doesn't you know it's, it's all down to conditions isn't it yes because sometimes you think you oh that's what i'm gonna do and it just doesn't do it And that's seriously annoying when you've got students with you and you're telling them that they can do this <laughs> and they can do that and they can do the other and the paint says, no, no not having it. Not today. Do you ever hear Matthew in your ear? There's your light coming from. Yes. <laughs> Oh, itching. right, just itching. itching. Right. It's an aperture, isn't it? Itching. It is, yeah. <laughs> There's some quite green patches of moss on the yes. trunk as well in places, isn't there? I'm trying to capture some of that. Oh, my head again. My head's going. Itchy, itchy. Oh, no. Oh, 
I've just stuck my finger in it. <gasps> Can't take you anywhere. I quite like that sort of bit that looks like a branch has broken off and it's got this lovely warm sort of yes, that heart burnt sienna yes, heart colour, it's lovely. Yeah. I think there is a call as well here for a little bit something like some white ink in a few places, just What's some of just those lift? branches that yeah. are in the foreground. Oh, foreground. I don't know if I've got any with me. Yeah. Oh, I've got this silvery white paint here. I might try that in a bit. Oh, yes, that should do it, shouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think there is a call as well here for a little bit of something like some white ink in a few places, just What's some of just those lift? branches that yeah. are in the foreground. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I've got any with me. Yeah. Oh, I've got this silvery white paint here. I might try that. Oh yes, that should do it, shouldn't it? Yeah. Before I do too many of those edge branches, like the really sort of fine ones towards the side, I kind of think I need to decide what I'm doing with my background. Yeah. Because this is all going to, this sort of twiddly stuff is going to have to go over the top of whatever I do. Okay. So I've got to have a think. She spends more time there, so we want to just give him a child making This is a bit peaceful, isn't it? Hey, Dad! Oh, you alright? Yeah. How are you doing? Literally just sent you a message yes, to say where we are. You need to dry. Do you want to dry a seat? Oh, it's a bit more. Yeah, well, don't sit on that, you regret it. Seven, seven How are you doing? I'm alright, yeah, not bad. You recovered from the, the weekend? Yeah, we've been knackered the last few days. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you about yeah. it. Yes, absolutely. Oh, look, bless him, he's brought blue sky, look. Oh, I'll show you how. Yeah, I saw, I saw uh, a forecast this afternoon, said it's going to be nice. Oh, look, it's changing colours, isn't it? I'll tell you what the blocks around here. How are they? I noticed there's lots of little white wine around it. Little, 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 little frippy things. Yeah. Oh, that's looking nice, nice. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm very happy to go and have a bowl of a cup, cup of coffee because I can finish this later. Yes, I'm it's up at to you. I'm up to you and watching, you know, if you want to. But you're gonna lose your light, aren't you? Well, that's that's what I'm thinking. So it's almost a case of saying stop yes, now and then. There, You've got till four o'clock, haven't you, really, before you sort of lose your three thirty, haven't you? Sort of time. Go and grab a couple of photos of that. So what do you normally do, like? Do you finish them on location or do you normally sort of go? It depends on the day. It, yes. I'd say half and half. Yeah. Half and half. Yeah. half. Because so you... sometimes, depending on the weather, if the if the weather chases us away, that's that's another issue. Um, and you've got. Um, that's nice. Not the colours. Oh, that's count. That's the Look noisiest that. bloody day you can imagine. Oh Middle of nowhere, like this, up a track, across fields, to get to the Counter Castle ruins. Yeah. And it was a nightmare, wasn't it? Oh my God. Absolutely. That's nice too. Bloody nightmare. The noise. It's a nice thing to do, isn't it, this? This is kind I of... Cause think I think so. Because I've got... Out of the occasional outdoor thing for watercolour TV, mm -hmm. you know, for subscribers, um, for members of that, mm -hmm. but... Mm -hmm. It's nice that you, you're doing it together. Yes, because we can have a chat. Because it makes the, it a yeah, good... Yeah. Day out, don't yeah. it? We choke good, ourselves with laughter sometimes. Yeah. We? Really being good silly. Yeah, yeah. Them shadows are coming out nice on that yeah, tree now, yeah, aren't they? You can see all the different layers yeah. on it, can't you? Trying. Just you just kind of need to slowly build with something like yeah. this, don't you? I like the vignette style though that you've got. I like the faded edges. It suits it. Oh, that's a Matthew Palmer vinaigrette. 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 <laughs> Sharon's definitely going for that. <laughs> you've got to get. Uh, 
Oh, before we went shopping. Before there. we went shopping, we treated ourselves. In Redford, and I found this place during lockdown. So it was a birthday present for my sister when you had to buy things and they threw them out the shop door and you had to right. go and pick them up. And it's the chocolates. Kitchen. Kitchen. It's right. called in Redford. And they make brownies of all sorts. So we bought ourselves a few boxes of fresh air and went bad. <laughs> I've never spent that much on chocolate in my life. Before. I didn't know there was such variation in brownies. Well, I, Unless you go to I, Amsterdam, of course. I bought Christmas <laughs> presents. So I've got presents to take home to um, my family and something for Nick and I to enjoy ourselves right. <laughs> this week. And there was a jabby dodger oh, brownie. Yeah. Millionaire's shortbread brownie. Yeah. Did you sample some while you were there? No, no we were she very didn't. Good. And there were no bits and pieces, though, to no. sample. To be fair, she only just opened. We didn't get there as she came yeah, bleary eyed. Well, that's her problem, not ours, isn't it? <laughs> like, ta -da! But they were very nice. Yeah. I bet that started yeah. her day off well with yours and my sales. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I bought them from there before. So one, one you know birthday not. during lockdown, I just sort of said, you know, are you? And she said, we're not doing delivery, but. And, and you can mail order them, them as and well. Really well. Yeah, yeah. So that's you've got to in this modern world, haven't you, to survive. Yes. Yes. You've got to sell everything online yes. and post. Yes. Yes. What really surprised me is up in Lake District only a few weeks ago, up there, and, and I took a mate of mine to the Grassmere gingerbread place. Okay. Yeah, which is where it originates from. Have you ever been? No, but it's it, got me no. on the list. No. It's literally it's, it's where gingerbread's supposed to have started. Okay. It's like a little shack thing that has been there hundreds of years. And there's a queue around the block, and you go inside and you can order it online, and they post it to you. Oh, and there's nice. these old ladies all dressed up like in sort of old Mother Hubbard type clothes, oh, and they're wrapping oh, it all, you know, like this, and then they'll, they'll say, oh, you can buy it online. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. But yes, then Val said, because she enjoyed her so much, she sent me some for my birthday. Right. And yeah, it's just really, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, it makes a change, doesn't it, from the usual presents that you can get elsewhere. Yeah, and they're all home homemade, so nice. it's nice. So we did that, then we came here and ate again. So okay. having bought chocolate, we then we then ate savoury, didn't we? Yeah, but we didn't, we bought the chocolate, we didn't eat it this no. morning, did we? No. Well, it's a bit of a walk, so you eat energy. Oh, yeah. That's a very good point. And once again, you know, it's one of your five a day, isn't it? <laughs> what is what we had? One of your five a sweet stroll. Things, Can we not work that I out somehow? So. And you know what? We Might had a cheese and onion it. puff. That counts. The onion counts. counts. Yes, one the of your onion. five a day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee. That grows. Coffee's Coffee. a bean. That yes, counts. That's, yes, that's fruit. <laughs> Coffee is an essential five a day anyway. Yeah. Yes. Coffee, you can't function. Yeah. It's nice coffee as well, actually. <laughs> and then we came down here and stayed. Yeah, yeah lovely. Lovely. You chose a good day as well, because it's... No well, wind. it's brightened up now. I wish we'd have started now in many respects. There's no wind. You've got the light to come. Yeah. Light on there, the top. Yeah. Beautiful. And of course, no wind helps no end with the recording, doesn't no it? No wind, no that's end. usually one of our problems, it's, isn't it? It's actually nicer yeah, in the, I mean, exactly. the winter because in the summer it's just a mass of green and all that. Yeah, yeah. so you can't see. Yes, yes I agree. We were you. surprised at how much the leaves have come off it. We thought they might, because the other the oaks that yeah. are around us uh, yeah. haven't it's dropped still green. yet. Pretty yeah, exposed that one. I suppose so. It's bigger than the others. It probably did yesterday before Debbie came along. Well, I kind of felt for you because I was driving around Mansfield yesterday, uh, which is not far from here, three or four miles away. And as I was driving down all the streets, where you got to a junction, there was just a gust of wind without these whirlwinds of leaves yes. flying around. Yeah. Did you see any? Yeah, that? that was fabulous. We, did, we actually the filmed some yesterday. Yeah. We were in the park at Newark and we watched all these leaves sweep in the wind from one side right across the tumbling across the grass like this yeah and of course at this time yeah you get that lovely sort of warm so, soft light yeah that there. light through the trees so Ooh. what can you tell us about where we are you're, you're a local boy yes. what, what can you tell us local-ish um so it's got to be one of the oldest trees in the world it must be i mean that that is there was always a bit of doubt if it was actually old enough to do Robin Hood. I mean I remember coming here as a kid and there was that sort of thing, is it, isn't it kind of thing. But they only recently, in the past five or six years, had it carbon dated with modern technology and they're saying it is well over a thousand years old. Which is good. Which kind of fits in because obviously Robin Hood, if the stories are true, believe it or not. Do you believe in Robin Hood? Yeah, I, yeah do. I do actually. I, believe I think, that the, I think oh, yeah. the story is the possibly character have been exaggerated. I, I think he was there. Yeah. yeah. You know. yeah. They reckon that the Lord Loxley, as he would have been, obviously, that's what the stories say, 
was born around 1123-ish, okay. so it fits in. I so mean, this would have been over 100 years old, this tree then, wouldn't it? Which would be a, a good sized tree for hiding in, it's small enough to climb. Yeah, exactly. Oh. And mm. obviously back then, it would have been sort of dense woodland that is used to on thousands of miles. Well, they said it was this, this wood forest was a thousand square miles, yeah. hectares? I don't know, thousand square something. So, Loxley... Big. He's up near Barnsley, which is probably 30, 40 miles away. So, I mean, that's legit. Yeah. I mean, you're on the run as an outlaw, and you're in a woodland, obviously, you know. Yes, yes. It all is... There were no A1 back then, was there? That's for sure. So, um, <laughs> well, I don't know. Does this part of that come from the Roman times? But the Foss Way the Great North Road. Great North Road, yes. North Road, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's 2,000 years old. Yes. So it's legit. Um, the... The Robin Hood stories you said uh, sort of passed on from city to town to village. It was the guy that played the little the loot, the loot, yeah. telling the stories yeah. of yeah. Robin Hood, yeah. and that's kind of how it kind of happened. But I mean, outlaws would have been, you know, a pretty common thing, I imagine. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you didn't pay your taxes to the old sheriff, you know, yeah. you would have been in all sorts of trouble. Nottingham from here, I mean, it must be an hour drive, forty-five minutes to an hour drive, so I'll. It's a day's, day's ride. Exactly, yeah. Mm. And that was the big yeah, city. Yeah. But only a few miles down the road, maybe a mile and a half down the road, is, is Edwinstow, which is the church mm -hmm. where Robin Hood and Maiden Marion supposed to have got married. There's a big statue down there to them. All oh, right, so we need to go. It's a yes, pretty little yes, village. Yes, so yeah. if you're ever in the area, make sure you drop in. Well, we, we're, we're kind of, the car park, car park yeah. is on the edge of Edwinstow, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it, it is. So we can just walk in from yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And there's all sorts of little sort of gifty shops relating to Robin Hood. Of course, yeah. and why Obviously. not? Why not? Because it's a big tourist thing. But anywhere that you go in the world, <laughs> we've all travelled. It's like America. You can be sat at a bar saying you're English, you know, and they say, "Did you ever meet Robin Hood?" You know, it's that kind of thing. Yes. It's like the Queen and Robin Hood or the King. Um, so it's obviously it's kind of world. Famous. But as you've said before, most people know the films, but not necessarily yeah. that this is a real place. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, the films now. There used to be an old visitor centre here when I was a kid. When I was a boy. <laughs> and it was. It Granny was, wore nappies. It's not the same one that's there now. And that had like a little sort of museum that kind of went through all the history of Robin Hood and all the stories, but then it kind of went into the films. So, what was your first film experience? Oh, well, Crikey, it's got to be they're all. Flynn, Errol Errol Flynn, Flynn and then Disney. I yeah. love the Disney with That's Roger Miller. That's the one that I, oh, I always remember yeah. the Disney one. Robin Hood yeah. and Little John through the it? forest. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's it was called something else. But there was a crossover. Yeah. There was a crossover from a Disney cartoon, yeah. which was in the 60s, maybe, 70s? Well, that is one which, was the, which was the Fox. Which was the Fox. Yes, one I am. Right. Yes, yeah. I am confused with that. That's the one. As well. That's the one. That's yeah. the one. That's the sheriff was like a lion. Yeah. With the Roger Miller music. But then, I think that there was a Disney live action movie that, where they brought some of the characters in okay. from the cartoons. I don't know which one it was. Well, in the visitor centre here now, they've got a wall of movie posters yes. yeah. of all the, all the movies that are related yeah. to it. So, Cause yes, I mean, right. the, how the many would there have been? We'll take a photograph of that later. But there must have been 15, 20 posters yeah. right through to comedy with men in tights. Yes, yes. Tides, you know. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was the faithful one, wasn't there? Which... Because I remember I was at school at the time, so it would have been 1991-ish, which of course was when Kevin Costner, oh, Prince of Thieves came out, and yes. there was two films came Elizabeth out. Elizabeth Mastrangela, I can't say it, I can't say and it. Sean no. Connery at the end. Yes, as blah, blah, blah. He played yes, King yes, that's right. With the Scottish accent. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> oh, I am no going to marry you. Well, yeah, but Kevin Costner had the American <laughs> accent, so we don't know <laughs> so much about it, can we? Um, and we all suspend all that disbelief, don't we? Yeah. But there was another film that came out around the same time, which was just called Robin Hood. Um, I don't oh. know. What, yeah. It was Guy with a Tash played Robin Hood. Yes. It was a darker, more yes, and, kind and of serious right. movie. Yeah. That one and he had was... to carry a letter, didn't he, or something from, from yeah. the king back to England or something. And that you know one was based in Yorkshire. Lot of, I mean, I, the Disney one, I, I do know, but the, the, what, these later ones that you're talking about, I had babies. I, I was watching Thomas <laughs> the Tank Engine. <laughs> well, way the other day, I put Sky Cinema on and, yeah. and Prince of Thieves was on. And it's yeah. a great film. That was it a is. lovely Because, of course, Alan Rickman played the sheriff in it. Yes. Which has yeah. probably made him... Oh, he was brilliant. Probably made him... Yeah. 
famous. Mm. Temple of the Maiden is a, yeah. Yeah. an actor. Oh, he was so it? good in that. A Such a stroppy that. sheriff, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, yes. a bit sort of comical at the same time yeah. as well. Yeah. And of course, yeah. probably the biggest song in history yeah. of that film as well. Yes. Brian Adams. Yeah. Everything we do, yeah. yeah. Yes. Which was, which is mine and Sarah's wedding songs. Oh. Was it? It was the Russell Crowe movie from a few years ago as well, Robin Hood. But that one was actually based in Loxley in Yorkshire. Okay. So all the locals around here are like, now, what are you doing? You're trying to destroy the Nottingham <laughs> stories, the sheriff, the taxes and all that stuff. Well, I, I suppose the, 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 whether he was in Loxley in, in Yorkshire or whether he was in... You know, it, it was the still the sheriff. Was the, yeah. Was the, the he was the guy, yeah, yeah. 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 And of course, being here is kind of halfway between Nottingham and Barnsley, I imagine, which is yeah. where Loxley is. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh, wonderful. Oh, it's so, lovely. Yeah, We're I think very lucky. Recent times. Mm. I mean, it's amazing that that thing's still, still living, yeah. you know, after a over a thousand years old, yeah. you know. Yeah. And to have so many trees that are. Five, six, seven hundred yeah. years old. In, in mm. This is an ancient woodland show forest. Yes. Yeah. And of course it spreads for miles. My old village where I used to live, a little village called Langworth, is it's kind of on the border of Sherwood Forest. All the woods we used to play in as kids with Sherwood Forest, but that's five mile ish, four or five mile that way. Yeah, mm. so it's, but it's still, still yeah, it's still still big and huge. And you think about the kings and the queens indeed that we've had who have used these woods for hunting. Over yes. the years, you yeah. know, the, you could hear their horses' hooves come through here. Oh, it's just incredible to yeah. think of it like that. And, you know, you had the tie-in with King John, because we did, uh, we've just done Newark Castle. And so, of course, he's been in this area, and he came up here for hunting. Yeah. Very and he similar died era. at Newark. Yeah, yeah very similar Yeah, era. it's all around that same time, like yeah. 1100s into 1100. Yeah. It was start, Newark Castle well, started the in 1130. It is yeah. the same Which is the era, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. Richard I was the king who came back to marry them. Yes. Richard the Lionheart. Yes. And he was brother of King John, because King John was left in charge of the country for the 11 years that he went off to fight the wars over the Crusades with Saladin. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 Robin Hood was, was um, more. Yeah. Robin Hood Watson, whatever you want to call him, he was he's reputed to have died in 1190, I think. Okay, okay. So it's all, it's so all, it's in all the around the same time, yeah. Right. And even that's a lovely legend, isn't it? Because when he was. Yes, yes. Yeah. Tell us that story, you know it? Yeah, so again, it's part of the myth and part of the story, but as he was dying on his deathbed, however that came about, Maid Marion was there mocking his brow or whatever, and he fires his well, last arrow. And if you could find where it landed, yeah, exactly, through the window, yeah. where it landed was where he was buried. buried. And of course, no one knows where he's buried. But actually, um, Little John, or John Little. John Little was his proper name. Yes. There's a grave to him, and it's a big, huge, seven foot long grave with a nice fence around for the tourists. He's in Hathersage in the Peak District, okay. which is where he's from. So, again, I mean, Hathersage, that is probably a wee bit further than um, Barnsley, but it's within a 30 mile sort of radius. Mm -hmm. Again, it's, so all, it's all a day's, day's ride yeah. on horseback, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, so Robin Hood was, was um, more yeah. Robin of Watts, whatever you want to call him. He was he's reputed to have died in 1190, I think. Okay, okay. so it's all, it's all, so it's all the around the same time, the yeah. And even that's a lovely legend, isn't it? Because when he arrow. was, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Tell us that story, you know it? Yeah, so again, it's part of the myth and part of the story, but as he was dying on his deathbed, however that came about, Maid Marion was there mocking his brow or whatever, and he fires his well, last arrow. And if you could find where it landed, yeah, exactly, through the window, yeah. where it landed was where he was buried. And of course, no one knows where he's buried. But actually, um, Little John, or John Little was his proper name, there's a grave to him, and it's a big, huge, seven foot long grave with a nice fence around for the tourists is in Hathersage in the Peak District, okay. which is where he's from. So again, I mean, Hathersage, that is probably a wee bit further than um, Barnsley, but it's within a 30 mile mm -hmm. sort of radius. Right. Of again, it's, so all, it's all a day's, day's ride yeah. on horseback, isn't exactly. it? Exactly, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes.
Uh, as far as the rest of the gang, the friar took and all, I don't know much about them. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, yeah. I believe the leg, you know the stories are mm. true, but probably embellished oh, slightly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For, yeah. for lyrical effect yeah. by the minstrel with his mm. lyre. The minstrel used to go around to the town for yeah. money and for entertainment, and used to tell stories of Robin Hood. Because am I right or am I wrong? But somewhere in history, I do believe there there's controversy about it all because in the time of Edward II, rumor has it that there was another character who was very similar to Robin Hood, okay. who was also thieving and, and sharing money out and uh, disagreed with taxes. <laughs> and some people say that they think that that could have been the Robin Hood character. Could but well I don't believe that. Could well be. Robin of Loxley is where we're yes. going. Yes, Part we are. of the myth and the legend yeah, of it all. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. And, I, and now here you are, thousands, well, oh, 900 yes. years later, yes. after yes. Robin Hood was hanging Still around. Still talking about it. Doing a watercolour. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and looking at our lovely tree. In the middle of November. Yeah, oh, we do no, tend no, to do a lot of our painting in November, well, February, when we're and free, March. Isn't it's it? when we're, we're able to. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we've yet to do much really sunny one. Even when we went to Greece, we had a couple of days of nice weather, and then yeah. it turned. <laughs> it turned. <laughs> yeah. the cold painting. Yeah, then it turned. I think oh, it's you and I. We bring it with us. <laughs> <laughs> I think it must be. It's quite nice, you know, isn't it? It's not, no, not, it is, it's yeah. not freezing in the sun. Lovely light coming through these trees. Yes. We know yeah. where the light's coming from. Matthew. All over there. <laughs> Behind the camera. Yes. yes what you want is some lovely yeah. sort of shafts of light coming through the trees, don't you? That little bit of mist. Yes. yes. That's a good look. But yeah, it's lovely now. Look at the sun. It's beautiful, yeah. It's really peaceful. Look at the light right back through there. Yeah, it's I get nice. a picture back through there from You've got here. the nice colours. Yeah. I love painting colours. Yes. Yeah. The problem is, is that you look at that, yeah. that and it's got gorgeous colours. Yes. Beautiful light. Yes. You take a photograph of dull and flat. It does, yeah, you're right. With woodlands yeah. more than anything. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So we've painted. Yep. And what's happened? Well, we've kind of got sidetracked <laughs> yes, again, and we have a friend <laughs> come to join us, and he has to eat cake too, because it's the law. It is the law. Yes. It is law. Guess what? Guess what? When Matthew turned up this afternoon, as he walked down the path like this vision, this vision in black, <laughs> the clouds parted. and he walked. It really did. He walked down the path, and as he did, the sky just turned blue. So we're now sitting here with sunshine. So if I turn you around, look, you can see we have a beautiful view of a I get out of here. Yes. <laughs> beautiful blue there, sky. Robin, Robin, little John, the little yeah, we, we've we've taken a picture of we'll show you a close up of that one. Look that, at the colour of the trees as well. I'll tell you a story about that statue, because that was the original statue that was in the original visitor centre way back in the seventies, eighties and nineties. And it's the only little bit that's left from that. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yeah.